hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel and a return for a moment anyway, at least one episode of the Superstars of Wrestling series, uh, 1986, December 6th is this particular episode. Rare to find something new in this area, so wanted to share it with you. Uh, we open with the Honky Tonk Man and he is um, talking about his dissatisfaction with kissing babies and basically being a person he doesn't want to be. Uh, he launches into having Jimmy Hart as his manager. Uh, then we move to the uh, opening match of the program, which is Macho Man Randy Savage S.D. Jones. Of course, Jones is a major star in the area from this time period. Maybe not uh, perfect talent, but anyhow. Um, pretty big deal here. Um, he obviously is with the lovely Elizabeth. This is only a couple of weeks after his throat crushing of uh, the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, which leads to WrestleMania uh, 3. Savage sent to the outside, gets slammed a couple of times, comes back into the ring, is very aggressive here. Savage still at the peak of his career, winning the Intercontinental Championship in um, 19 and uh, 86, just a few short months before this. Uh, Savage gets flipped over a couple of body slams here, gets tossed down and gets body slammed. Savage willing to bail out rather quickly, doesn't want to waste a whole bunch of time. Bails out and then comes in with the double axe handle. Savage tries to break up the uh, nature of things, manages to, after getting body slammed, kick out and ultimately manages to go back into the ring, um, hits the top rope elbow in in rather quick order and gets a victory uh then we go to a kind of rebuttal i guess you'd say with uh, uh the king harley race bobby heenan does the majority of the promo uh race although says no one will stop the king he is the king he is the only king and he'll be the king forever or as long as he wants to be Heenan asks a bunch of questions basically regarding who can stop him. He raises Hogan, Junkyard Dog, among others. Uh, Blackjack Mulligan does a, I guess you'd say, rodeo-style uh, promo a little bit here um, in the back of a uh, old collapsed truck. And then we go to uh, Coco Beware, who's relatively new to the organization, less than six months in. He is where he is uh, alongside Frankie, his parrot. And uh, so he's pretty new to the area. Of course, Coco stays 86 to 94 or so. Uh, faces Bobby Colt and manages to hit a couple of hard shots there, um, including arm drags and the like. Coco doesn't exactly like wearing or wasting a bunch of time. Hits those. Arm drags pretty convincingly, goes after him, body slams and the like, suplex and then uh, snap style vertical, and then uh, Coco Ghost recovers. So Coco Ghost recovers a lot throughout. One thing I liked about Coco a lot is he made it look like winning the match mattered more than kind of being terribly charismatic, but at the same time cared about charisma too, so an interesting run there. Coco does a couple of drop downs, really basic stuff, some hip tosses. And then uh, manages to hit a body slam for his trouble. Coco manages to go to the top rope on the inside. Hits the top rope drop kick, which uh, before before the gourd buster, the top rope drop kick becomes his finish. Top rope drop kick from Coco, a major thing. and um, But uh, then he manages to hit the gourd buster as well. Uh, one, two, three, over and done. Uh, wouldn't want to take that move. Just looks kind of brutal. Uh, we go to, I believe, Ken Resnick in the back and um, Kamala setting up for a house show tour. The wizard, the uh, grand wizard, otherwise known as Prin Prince Curtis Ikea, Kem Shi alongside Kamala. Kamala wearing a black and white t-shirt and goes after his uh, uh, handler, so to speak. So... Really, really trying to get Kamala over. By this point, Kamala, 86 to early 87, lining up for Hogan. He's not quite there long enough to do that quite yet, but it's pretty well there. Adrian Adonis comes out with Paul Roma. They have uh, 
Ben in the process of switching off uh, Adonis. Adonis going more towards the effeminate character that he's later known for. Dyed his hair purple. Uh, wearing a purplish pink uh, outfit that even says New York City on the back. Prancing around. Really wonder where that would have gone had he stayed alone around longer term after WrestleMania uh, 3. But obviously that's not an option. Jimmy Hart is his manager out there and that's pretty major. Um, Adonis does some roll arounds, really basic stuff. Roma, who becomes a, ma a more major star, but uh, doesn't do that for a couple of years. Well, probably about a year with the Young Stallions and kind of hangs around for several more years. Uh, choke out slash sleeper by Adonis manages to hold the man there and keeps it going. Um, then we see Luscious Johnny V kind of promoting his guys, the Dream Team. Of course, the Dream Team at this point, still Valentine and Beefcake, former tag team champions, also manages to mention the signing of Dino Bramo for the newer Dream Team, the extension of the Dream Team. This is the beginning of Beefcake starting to differentiate from them, although that's not complete until uh, 19... 87 WrestleMania 3 Hercules and Jose Luis Rivera up next and uh, Hercules actually wearing a golden uh, piece of I don't know I don't know I guess you'd say uh, apparatus uh, Hercules using several power moves slams backbreakers and the like gets the man up across the back and gets the submission uh, Hercules kind of uses some clotheslines along the way but that submission is a pretty big deal. Piper's Pit up next, which is uh, sad because we're closing to the end of that. There's only about three months, uh, three more months or so, maybe almost four of uh, uh, Piper's Pit. Piper's Pit, probably the biggest thing from 84 to 87 in the area. George the Animal Steel comes out and basically does a lot of um, talking and carrying on uh, mine and the like. Uh, Piper says he got... Uh, steal some food and a woman and steal chilled out kind of funny there uh, then we go to an interview with Bonnie Steamboat something I did not know happened but then I wasn't a fan until 89 Bonnie Steamboat says that she's never seen her husband quite this way and Savage needs to be punished for what's been done uh, she's annoyed at the inability of her husband to provide for his family because of the actions of Randy Savage she is not particularly a comfortable person with being on camera, and this translates into the way she does the promo. Kamala out next with Ho Jose Luis Rivera, and he does a typical Kamala match, including body slams, punch, punch, kick, kick, chop, chop, and a big splash. Gets the splash, gets the victory, and away we go. Um, actually, several uh, top rope splashes along the way for Kamala as well. Uh, Wizard and Kim Shi having difficulty controlling Kamala. Not that that's a huge surprise, but is what it is. Um, there is an interview with Jesse the Body Ventura. He uh, complains about uh, Jack Tunney not giving him information into the, uh, I guess you'd say, in reinstatement of Andre the Giant. All he can find out is that, in fact, Andre was not present. Uh, he'd been suspended, Andre that is, for uh, not appearing at Live events before and wonders why he was reinstated. At this point, it is revealed that Bobby Heenan, Bobby the Brain Heenan, was in fact there at the hearing. Um, then we go to the main event. Greg Valentine, Brutus Beefcake, and Dino Bravo, Billy Jack, Haynes, and the Rougeau brothers. Um, Haynes and the Rougeaus, um, not exactly a regular team, but I guess they did the six-man tag just to add a little bit of uh, chaos. Dino Bravo... Uh, does a lot of power moves, cuts the ring off on his adversaries. Three men in the Dream Team seems kind of odd because it doesn't continue very long. Beefcake still doing the black and white tights and uh, a pretty impressive military press slam followed by a backbreaker. Stupid move by Beefcake as he doesn't go for the cover after the backbreaker before pounding the mat several times, giving his opponent, in theory, the opportunity to get back to his feet. Cuts the ring off on one of the Rougeaus for the next several minutes. Uh, Rougeaus are dissatisfied. There is a bail to the outside with uh, cheating from the heels to gain the victory. Junkyard Dog does a ba backstage promo endorsing Hulk Hogan, and Hogan and the dog are, are hyping upcoming house show matches around the horn. 
and w with each other as tag team partners and that will close us for today we'll be back with several more in the um smoky mountain series and we've got over 1150 at this point audios for your listening pleasure old school stuff which is where it matters new school stuff and all points in between Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. If you're looking for life, business, relationship coaching, go to my main channel, Golden Opportunities Coaching, and reach out to me there. Till next time, keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.